is up party people? We are back at the bus. As you can see, Regan is already hard at work. You guys know, you have watched a couple of our videos, Regan likes to get eager and get after it. But part of that's just because we end up talking about what we're gonna do beforehand. Regan just gets eager, so. She's, I get eager she, and then it dies off pretty quickly. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's okay. So, today's goals basically are to prep all the metal for welding. So we didn't do a vlog uh, about cutting this out, but if you follow us on Instagram, which if you're not, why aren't you? You get more updates, you get the day-to-day, -day, you learn a little about, bit about us. So give us a follow on Instagram, I'm putting it right here. But uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram, uh, you wouldn't have seen that we've cut out our complete floor support system. Uh, so the floor supports that sit on top of the frame rails and give support to the floor. Uh, we had a lot of them that were, well we had some of them that were Swiss cheese falling apart. We had some of them that were rusted, probably would have been okay, probably could have treated. Um, and we had some that just said straight up to like basically disintegrated. So we decided rather than, you know, put a couple new ones in and only really cut out the bad ones and treat the other ones, we cut everything out. Or at least pretty close to everything. We've got a few little nubbins, official term, little nubbins to cut out today. Uh, little pieces that are on top of the frame rails that were a little bit tougher to cut off. I uh, just needed to kind of figure it out a little bit, cutting the welds and getting them off. Still gonna figure it out a little bit more today, to be honest. But that's the plan for today. We picked up steel yesterday. I uh, spent a little time driving around in a U-Haul, picking up some steel, delivering it here to Miles because he is in no shape to be even moving right now, even around this parking lot. And we have all the steel that we're gonna need for now. <laughs> Cause I know we're probably gonna need more at some point later for hanging something under the bus or doing solar panels or something, but uh, that's much more minor. So picked up the steel and we have a welder coming uh, hopefully Monday, today's Saturday. Part of the reason we're doing the metal prep um, it's a because it's pretty rusty, but B because we want to save so because we're bringing a welder in typically the welder has to prep all the metal that they're going to um, Going to weld whether that's new metal or older metal um, Because new metal even has to be prepped for welding if you want to try and get good welds and clean welds So we're doing all of that because it's really not that hard to work. Um, it just requires an angle grinder and uh, Just getting down to clean metal. So we figured we could do that by ourselves, save us some cost because welding on it already is kind of a costly thing. So, um, got a lot of prep to do this weekend. So this is gonna be a big metal prep vlog. I'm gonna get to work here. I'm gonna cut out the rest of uh, what's left and Reg's scraping away at some sideboards here that run the length of the bus. Yeah, it's not easy because they're, kind of, they're kind of molded in and we have flimsy walls. So we gotta be careful. Um, the bus is in a pretty fragile state right now and it's kind of sketchy to even just be walking around. You just see the walls I mean, going like this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give a good visual of that, but it's sketchy for sure. So time to get working, bust out the angle grinder, masks, gloves, eye protection. Let's get cutting. Get it, girl. You can see these are welded on here on the sides obviously and it looks like you should just be able to cut through these welds here um, and have no problem but I cut as low as I could with the angle grinder and it still leaves this like base plate you can see here too it still leaves that bottom piece of steel in my angle this is a four and a half inch disc that's now maybe gosh, three inches. Um, and this was in a matter of like seconds. So, but what I heard or what, after reading a little bit, it says these are so thin, while they're good, and this is what you're supposed to use, is they're so thin that 
any bending of them or anything can shred them really quickly. So I think that was part of my issue is I was trying to go get at it like this. Um, and so what I may do is just do a clean line across here, clean line across here, at least get these big chunks of these guys off. Um, so we can move forward with trying to clean them up and at least just getting them out of the way. So let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. So Rag already did this whole side, this bottom board here. So there's a little board that ran the whole length of the bus uh, where the bus met the uh, floor supports. And as you can see on this side, she's still got to get some of that rotted wood out. So like we, most of the wood in our bus, it's nice and yummy. I've already but, injured myself twice. Yep, two injuries for rag on the day. Always wear gloves. <laughs> she keeps trying to take her gloves off and then gets cut. That's because this is what happens if I take them off. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Grinder, round two. party people uh so kind of done for the day wrapping up calling it a little bit early we're having a little casual bonfire tonight you know have nick and caroline over have uh one of my cousins over so gonna just call it a little early gotta go back home make sure you know house isn't disheveled and whatnot and make sure you got enough beer always important when you're having people over got some of the metal prep today reg did a great job uh, taking care of those rails down here on the bottom are those uh, wood pieces that are going to attach to our floor supports Well, when we replace them with wood pieces. And then I went ahead, cut off uh, the old little chunks of metal that were still there, the ones that are actually welded on, uh, just cut right above the welds. And I was thinking I was going to have to completely cut them out and I'm only gonna probably have to figure out how to do it in like two or three spots. The other ones uh, don't line up where we're gonna be putting the new floor supports. We're not putting all the floor supports back in the same exact spot as they had them. We're actually adding more, a little bit more support, uh, putting them a little bit closer together, making it so it's gonna work out a little bit better with four by eight sheets of plywood, not having to cut them so much. So, that being said, um, I got the uh, kind of, you know, four or five inch spots grinded down uh, where the welding is going to happen on those uh, kind of the, the frame pieces. And then tomorrow we'll come back. We will grind down uh, those a little bit more with a flap disc. So today I was using a grinding wheel, which doesn't, uh, it gets a lot of the, you know, rust and things off of it. Gets down to pretty good metal, but the flap disc should help get it down even more. So that is done. Or that's what we're going to do tomorrow for tonight we're heading back to relax thanks for watching this so far we'll see you tomorrow and good day to you all it is not sunday it's actually monday we did come back here yesterday uh but reagan and i had to come here separately come from different places and uh, i forgot to tell her to grab the camera so we didn't have the camera here with us yesterday kind of talk you through what we did as far as prepping. Uh, so all the spots I grinded down previously with a grinding wheel, I went over with a flap wheel, just helped get a little bit more smooth of a finish. And so we did that on the frame rails where the cross members, which I have one here, where the cross members are gonna be welded. And then on the cross members themselves, we welded a decent sized gap uh, of where these are going to sit on the frame rails and then these are where the welds are going to be right here on the side uh, so even though it's new steel it still needs to be grinded down to a nice finish uh, so you've got nice clean metal to work with and the cleaner your your surface that you're working on the better chance that 
you're gonna get nice penetrating non-contaminated welds so that's why we did this steel as well and then we also show you the end so we also did the end of them um, probably didn't need to do quite as high on some of these but again these ends uh, are gonna meet a long board running along the edges of the bus and so there's gonna be welds all around here as well so what we wanted to do was make sure we had a nice clean surface there. All the new metal, well most of the new metal is prepped. Um, we're going to prep the long bore, or the long side rails um, as we're going today. What I'm going to do today, the welder's coming around 4, it's like 1 o'clock now. There's a few more things I have to cut out. Um, one of the poles, our farthest back pole, is sitting on a cr uh, floor support that we need to cut out. So that needs to come out, and this farthest back floor support needs to come out as well. The less I can be doing while he's doing it, and the more I can help him, the better. Hopefully, the, the faster things will go for him. So yeah, we're just trying to make it as smooth as possible, and also, again, trying to save. So I've been trying to do as much of this as I can, as far as prepping the metal, making sure we have everything set, so the welder can hopefully just come in here, lay down some beads uh, and then clean them up and, and be done. So here we go, first step. I'm gonna work on moving this back pole so I can get cutting. Prep continues, uh, the welder, wow, my face is nice and dirty. Uh, welder had told me four o'clock, but I guess he's running a little late or something. There's also some weather in the forecast, some possibility of rain. It doesn't look like it's gonna hit us. It looks like we're gonna get lucky and it's gonna go around. But obviously that's something to take into consideration. The bus is covered and we'd be working undercover, but Obviously there's a welder, welding machine and electricity and things involved. So hopefully the rain holds off. But for now, uh, I'm just gonna wipe all the spots down with acetone that I grinded to try and clean them up, degrease them as much as possible. Maybe do a few other things before it gets here, but if I'm gonna wipe them with acetone, well, I also have to wipe all the beams when where we, uh, we prep those with acetone as well. So it'll take a little while. Let's get wiping with some acetone. All right, so now because I've got a little bit of time before Mr. Welderman's gonna be here, I'm gonna go ahead and tape off where these are gonna go. So I'm just gonna tape, measure, and tape the edges so we can get an idea of where a little bit more precisely these are going. So, uh, just get taken. Everybody. So it is now Wednesday. Uh, the time lapse you just watched actually was Tuesday. Uh, part of it was Monday. 
So we got everything tacked up on Monday and we were able to get that set. We were kind of playing with some weather. It ended up raining a little bit, which was unfortunate, but Welder came back yesterday and completely finished the floor support. So uh, I'm here today now to cut what are gonna be our top pieces because the welder's gonna come back again on Monday. So this weekend's 4th of July, but he's gonna be able to come back Monday morning and be able to do hopefully everything that day for everything we're gonna build, working up the walls as far as steel goes and getting welding done. So I'm here to cut that today because uh, Reggett's family's coming into town for 4th of July weekend. So I wanna get it cut today. So it's all ready and set to go for Monday and we can get everything done on Monday because that would be huge and then we can secure everything and our walls will not be floppy anymore so uh, that will be a big day when we get to that point so hopefully that's gonna be here in the next week or two uh, which means it's probably gonna be in a vlog here pretty shortly because we're catching up uh, with the vlogs this week's vlog is actually just from last week so this will only we're only a week behind so almost got you guys caught up uh, this is really cool to come here and see the bus in this shape right now. It's it's crazy, but uh, it's cool to, to be making steps in the right direction. So uh, I'm going to get measuring and then we'll get cutting. show you so this is the new stuff that we got welded in so we've got a cross member here coming to the outside that's a three by one inch uh, one solid piece that goes all the way to the front so all these cross members come and meet this and are welded to this so it helps give it that vertical stability um, so it's not just they're not just relying on uh, the ones towards the center as well they've got some stability out here and previously out here there was just a uh, piece of angle iron, you know, a small one inch by one inch basically piece of angle iron that was welded here. So this is much sturdier, in, I would imagine, uh, than what was in here. Then, previously as the bus was, there was chair rails that came up to here and there were boards behind here, not quite as thick as these two by fours, uh, but that were hidden behind the fiberglass. And those chair rails had, that had a little C-channel going this way uh, was secured in with screws uh, to the fiberglass, so it helped kind of help suck the bus in and hold the walls in. And so, uh, but those were only maybe one inch wide pieces of steel that connected to those C channels. And most of those, when we got the bus and we were tearing it out, most of those, the connections had rusted out, the welds had broken out, and so they were just, even the one that, that had them pretty solid, it was still pretty floppy by nature. Um, so what we're doing is we're gonna replace those uprights with one by one uh, steel here. And so we're gonna replace those uprights that are gonna go along the edge here. And then, though, rather than just stopping midway, uh, they're gonna go up and meet a piece of two by one here at the top. And so that two by one is gonna get screwed into another two by four that piece of wood that we're gonna put here. Just like we did for this chair rail that we were initially gonna do and we were, that was our plan was you know, oh, we're gonna prep these chair rails so we can secure the walls. Well, you could see that went out the window pretty quickly. And we realized that the walls were gonna have to be totally floppy at some point, And we were gonna have to re, kind of revamp what was here uh, rather than trying to use the already rusted out broken weld chair rails. Um, so this is kind of our solution. And, and part of what's also good about this is this hole here, obviously be welded at the bottom and then be welded here at the top with the, uh, gotta make sure you guys can see this here, uh, with the two by one. So it'll be welded here, bottom and top. And then not only is this two by one gonna be secured through the board and bolted through the outside and through the fiberglass and the body, but it's also gonna be secured here, midway, uh, here, midway. Uh, so the, there's gonna be two connection points going farther up the body, whereas before there was only one, there's really no solid uh, anything going up there besides the fiberglass. The reason I went with a one by one upright is it's gonna help us give uh, get the right amount of depth for our wall. This two by four, which is really only about an inch and a half thick, plus a one inch piece of steel, 
Uh, it's going to give us about two and a half inches of insulation on the walls, which is pretty thick, pretty good. I think will be uh, good for uh, what we're trying to do, and that'll be all spray foam. Yeah, that kind of gives you guys an idea of what we're trying to accomplish here. Dig gamut, that's how we're doing her. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for me here today. But yeah, just quick little, wanted to come and do this before the Welder Monday. It's crazy to see how it's coming together. I, I haven't showed you guys, I mean, you've not kind of maybe seen it in the background, but I kind of want to wait until we have it all done to give the final review. But uh, it looks good, and also there's still some rusty metal in it uh, with the poles and stuff. So probably cut that all out on Monday while the guy's welding. Might as well. If I'm going to be here, might as well put in some time to work. So that's it. We'll see you uh, on Monday. And good morning, everybody. It is uh, Monday, July 6th. Had a good 4th of July weekend with Reagan's family here in Wisconsin. And now back to bus work. Uh, it's currently 5.30 in the morning. Welder wanted contacted me yesterday and said how about we start at like six or seven because it's supposed to be super hot today so I said sure why not I'm fine with getting it done early I gotta get the tarp off I gotta do some last minute metal prep uh, still haven't grind down the ends or made them flat and need to mark out the spots and grind down the spots where he's gonna be welding today uh, just to make it as easy as possible so thankfully I thought I was only gonna have 30 minutes getting here uh, at 5:30, but now it's probably gonna be closer to 6 30 so uh, I've got like an hour, gotta get the tarp off, gotta get prepping, here we go. I've got one set of side, or one, yeah, one side done. So what I'm gonna do is take that and basically mark them out and grind down now on the side rails where the welds are gonna meet. Uh, so I've at least got one side done by the time he gets here. If I can get the other side done, great. If not, then I can keep working uh, while he's starting to tack up one side. So let's keep going. guys so the camera died while we were working we still haven't gotten a new battery or more batteries for a little vlog camera so it died while the welder was working but here I'm gonna show you some pictures real quick of what everything looked like throw them here on the screen if you follow us on Instagram again go ahead and just follow us cuz you're gonna get updates there quicker you would have seen this picture already because we put it out before this video came out but Give us a follow on Instagram. Go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. We'll do, we'll show you guys this whole finished floor support that we did. Turn on notifications for the next video. It's coming out uh, next week. We're caught up now and we're caught up with time. So these videos are pretty much happening and coming out the week after we're doing the work. So turn on those notifications so you're notified when we post these videos. And uh, we'll see you next time.